From humongous alien creatures to fish with a mouthful of teeth, here are 10 creatures who live at the bottom of the world. Number 10. Deep Sea Starfish There are more than 2,000 known species of sea star, ranging from those that you'd find in rock pools to those that you'd see on a coral reef. But amongst the most bizarre ones that have been found are those that live deep below the waves. Deep, deep down in the ocean, things look very different. There's no natural light, with the only luminous sources coming from animals that have bioluminescent abilities. The sea stars at these depths are pretty unusual. They too can produce their own light, and despite the darkness, have eyes. Did you know that starfish had eyes? They are teeny tiny eyes located at the end of each arm. Scientists didn't expect deep sea starfish to have eyes at all, let alone bioluminescent powers. Their eyes and luminosity help them spot any potential prey, or, of course, mates. Hundreds of feet down, the high pressure and lack of light usually causes animals to lose their eyes and rely on other senses. One species, the Novodinia americana, has incredibly developed eyes, particularly for starfish, and is actually able to emit light from all over its body. Researchers think this could be a novel form of long-distance communication in the darkness, which combined with their eyesight is a completely new trait seen in starfish. They will move around their arms so that their eyes can peer into the darkness. They might be trying to signal, or trying to look around like a periscope trying to hide from other bioluminescent predators, like this one. Number 9. The Glass Finger this strange species of sea sponge that lives in deep waters are called glass fingers. Apart from looking like glass, their name actually comes from the way that their skeletons are formed. Sponges usually form a skeleton from calcium carbonate, which is tough and rigid and allows them to keep their shape. Without this, they would simply be a fleshy blob floating through the water. Glass fingers, on the other hand, form their skeletons from silica. It's the same substance that can be found in quartz and is a major component of glass. Millions of years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, there were vast reefs made up of glass sponges that covered large areas of the ocean floor. They were thought to have gone extinct about 40 million years ago, leaving tons of fossil cliffs in their wake. But in 1987, Canadian scientists found a glass sponge reef that was still thriving, 200 meters below the surface in the water off of British Columbia. They are one of the most influential marine creatures that you've probably never heard of, and there's a high chance that there are many more reefs waiting to be found. Who knows what else lies deep in the ocean? And now for number 8, but first, do you know what the deepest place on Earth is? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you're new here, the answer is coming up! Number 8. The Deep Sea Spider if you're not too fond of spiders around your home, then these next creatures will show you how lucky you are to live on land. Spiders of epic proportions do live among us, and grow to huge sizes off the coast of Antarctica. These guys are pretty creepy looking, almost like something from nightmares or alien movies. The Southern Ocean Giant Sea Spider is one of the most common sea spider that lives down to a depth of 5 kilometers. The name's actually misleading because they technically aren't spiders, but the similarities are pretty clear. Known as pycnogonids, in case anyone asks you, they are super weird. They might have 10 to 12 legs and have no organs for digestion or respiration. Actually, they don't even really have a body. Diffusion delivers gases to their tissues and they have organs in their legs instead. They have no hearts and their blood is pumped around their bodies by moving around. Fossils of this species have been found from as far back as 425 million years ago, making them one of the oldest animals of that type to still be around. They come in many forms, with some having four eyes, others eight, and some deep sea species have no eyes at all. They range from being a few millimeters wide to a horrifying 75 centimeters wide. Number 7. The Acorn Worm Acorn worms can live anywhere from the shoreline to over 3,000 meters deep. They are very unusual creatures. There are actually only less than 100 known species of acorn worm, and most varieties grow up to one and a half feet long. The animals themselves are formed of three distinct parts, the proboscis, the collar, and a long trunk, which accounts for most of their body length. The proboscis sits in the collar and can resemble an acorn, hence its creative name, acorn worm. Get it? It's actually very rare to see a fully grown water acorn worm because they spend the majority of their lives burrowed within the sand of the seabed. They will eat plankton but mostly just eat sand to digest tiny little particles. 
Once full, they will burrow down deep, leaving only a tiny part of themselves exposed through which they can expel all the unwanted material. The deep sea versions, though, don't burrow in the sand at all. Instead, they crawl along at about three inches an hour, sucking up all the nutrients that they can find. This deep down, they have developed striking colors and are so soft that if you were to pick one up, it would fall apart in your hands. So if you happen to be a scientist looking for deep sea creatures, don't grab one. There's a constant stream of feces that trails behind acorn worms, and the patterns left behind tell a lot about their behavior. Some, for example, move in spiral motions across the seabed, while others in a more conventional straight line. Number six, the barrel eye fish. If you didn't know any better, you might think that this fish was some kind of aquatic robot used to spy on submarines during the Cold War. The Pacific barrel eye fish is an extraordinary creature that lives deep in the ocean's waters. As its name would suggest, it lives in the North Pacific, at depths of around 600 to 800 meters, and can be easily recognized by its transparent head. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium discovered that the eyes could rotate in a transparent shield that covered the fish's head. They used video from ROVs to study barrel eyes in the deep waters off of California and were able to bring one to the surface for a few hours. This transparent dome on its head is filled with fluid and inside you can see the lenses of its eyes, which have developed in a unique way that let them rotate between facing forward or directly upward. As it spends most of its life at the bottom of the ocean, it's useful to be able to see up towards any predators or prey that may come its way. The large and flat fins allow them to remain virtually motionless in the water, and it's thought that the green pigment in their eyes has developed to help filter out the direct sunlight that beams down from the surface. They tend to feed on zooplankton, small fish, and jellyfish tentacles, where the ability to rotate their eyes lets them quickly change from scouting the waters to chasing a meal. Number 5. The Giant Isopod The giant isopod is another creepy creature that lives at the bottom of the sea. Related to pill bugs, it's not actually a bug. It's a carnivorous crustacean that crawls around the deep sea floor looking for food from the remains of creatures that have fallen to the depths, or slow-moving living creatures like sea cucumbers and sponges that it's able to catch up to. As its name suggests, these are the largest species of isopod and they can grow up to two and a half feet long as far as we know. This was just a specimen discovered in 2010. Because they live so deep in the ocean, it's hard to say how big they might get due to deep sea gigantism, the phenomenon that lets animals grow much larger in deeper and colder waters. Growing to up to 16 inches long, it's one of the biggest of all crustaceans that we know of, and with a complex mouth that can pierce, shred, and disembowel its prey, and compound eyes that give it a wide range of view, it's a formidable beast. They live in most oceans of the world at between 550 to 7,000 feet below the surface, at least, and live a solitary life scoring the muddy or clay regions of the ocean floor. Occasionally, they are caught while fishing, and instead of throwing them back, fishermen will keep them to eat later. They are quite a delicacy in northern Taiwan, in a dish that involves boiling them whole and serving them with rice. Number 4. Dragonfish the deep sea dragonfish, also called the barbled dragonfish, is a family of fish that are found in the deepest parts of the ocean around the world. In all, there are nearly 300 different known species, each of which have their own unique characteristics. They come in all shapes and sizes and are well adapted to the high pressures and cold, dark environments that they live in at about 1,500 meters below sea level. Some are long and almost snake-like, while others are short and stubby. The thing that they all have in common, though, and the reason for their name is their teeth. And they sure have a lot of them. So much so that many species of dragonfish don't even seem to be able to close their mouths properly because of all their teeth. In a similar way to other fish that live at such depths, dragonfish use bioluminescence to navigate and hunt. They have barbels that light up and attract their prey to them, so all they need to do is wait. Once a fish gets near, they don't stand a chance. Dragonfish need to take every opportunity they get, so they prefer to go for larger meals and can even open their mouths up to 120 degrees to make sure they can take a huge bite. Number 3. The Mariana Snailfish The ability for scientists to explore the deepest parts of the ocean has improved significantly in recent decades, which has led to a number of unmanned research missions to the deepest known place on Earth. What is the deepest place on Earth? The Challenger Deep in the Pacific's Mariana Trench. It is close to Guam and the Philippines and is about 11 kilometers deep. If Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, were inverted and placed in the Challenger Deep, it would still be covered by over one mile of water. 
The Mariana snailfish is the deepest ever fish discovered, way deeper than all of the others on this list. The deepest specimen ever caught came from 26,135 feet below sea level, but a Japanese team spotted one on camera a further 700 feet lower than that. Their skin is flesh-colored but transparent, which means you can see all of their organs and skeleton inside. They're a unique species of snailfish that have only ever been seen in the Mariana Trench, and down there, despite their frail appearance, they are the dominant predator, with very little competition for any nutrients that fall so deep down. Number 2. Sleeper Sharks Sleeper sharks are very rarely seen by ocean researchers. They are known to live in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans and grow to up to 23 feet long and weigh up to 1,958 pounds. A discovery in 2016 completely changed the way that these creatures are understood. A team of researchers were investigating the waters off the coast of Papua New Guinea, looking at volcanic activity that had recently started up. Because of the extreme temperatures and toxic gases released from the ocean floor during a volcano, scientists usually only expect to detect bacteria. So they couldn't believe their eyes when a blob moved past the camera, and they realized that it was a sleeper shark. The PhD students said that they were freaking out. The sharks were found inside a caldera, a crater that is formed when part of the mouth of the volcano collapses. So technically, the sharks were found actually living inside a volcano. Not only was this the southernmost sighting of a Pacific sleeper, but it was the most inhospitable environment a shark has ever been found in. Number 1. The Devil Worm All of the other animals on this list live in the ocean since they provide much more habitable environments than are available underground, and far more research has been done in the water because it's easier to access. This final one, though, is the exception. The devil worm is the deepest known living animal and is a species of nematode. Originally, nematodes were not thought to live any deeper than dozens of feet, but this species was found living at around 2.2 miles underground. The discovery stunned researchers because the temperatures and pressures at this depth were thought to be completely inhospitable to life forms other than microbes. The devil worm feeds off of these microbes, which at 0.5 millimeters long is very small itself. This is probably not that surprising because they have to withstand pressures far beyond those found in the deepest depths of the ocean, and once they had been discovered in a South African gold mine, evidence was also found that they have been around for at least tens of thousands of years. The devil worm, while tiny and unremarkable in itself, has rewritten our understanding of life below the surface, and leads to the belief that there is much more going on beneath our feet than we knew. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. See you next time. Bye!